Welcome back to Good Day. It's a season for festivals, art, outdoor fun, and one event this weekend combines all three. Yeah, Ansley Abrams, Frederick, and artist Aaron Bivens join us this morning with an invite to the University of Toledo's Art on the Mall. So welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so looking forward to this event again this mm -hmm. year. Uh, so tell us, what can we expect? Oh, this is uh, it's going to be a great, great Sunday. It, in fact, it's going to be a good day. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes. yes, it is. And uh, Art on the Mall has been going on for 31 years, and I think I've participated in over 25 of those 31. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a painter. Mm -hmm. I paint in watercolor, acrylic, and oils, and I also demonstrate. Mm -hmm. And I just really like this show because it has wonderful entertainment and music, has uh, fantastic food, and we have wonderful artists of all mediums throughout the region. And the venue, University of Toledo, mm -hmm. Art on the Mall, right in the middle of campus. You can't ask for anything more. It's great. Yeah, yeah and he got rid of the rain chance for you on, yeah. uh, on we Sunday. We appreciate that. Right? Uh -huh. right. Thank you. He asked for it, and, you know, he received. So, there you go. Um, and so tell us a little bit, you know, this has been going on for a number of years, and I was reading that you all are back to, like, pre-COVID levels yes, in terms we of, are. of artists and, and participants. Yeah, for a while there, we were seeing a dip mm -hmm. in the numbers, um, which I think could be expected. Yeah. And we're really, really happy and pleased to announce that we're back to pre-pandemic time. And uh, we've got about 110 artists which equate to about 115 mediums which means we have more than that number of booths because there's several that have multiple booths so multiple. there is something for everyone we have wonderful art as he mentioned um, of all kinds all price points it's all for sale um, the nice thing about our show is it's free so you come out it's free parking um, we've got golf cart shuttles that are happily running you back and yeah. forth and we'll take your packages back to your car with you and and um, the show itself is free. Yeah, wonderful. That's, that is wonderful. I was just in Ann Arbor this past weekend yeah. at the mm -hmm. art fair. And you're able to see, like you said, so many different mediums mm -hmm. there. Uh, so tell us, why is it so important for people to be exposed to? Uh, maybe people are working with metal. They're working yep. with glass, acrylic, uh, so many different uh, mediums, as mentioned. Why is it uh, so nice for people to experience that? Well, if you see it, you can be it. Mm -hmm. And so if you see that, um, you've got folks who are creating these wonderful works of art, you can do it as well. And maybe not as well <laughs> right away, but you know, you can learn. And the University of Toledo has a wonderful art school. Mm -hmm. So they've got pottery, they've got all kinds of mediums. And so we have a great place for you to go to learn. Um, I know you've, you've mm -hmm. tootled under many yes. wonderful <laughs> places. So he's a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we just, when you go out to Art on the Mall, I think you can see all these wonderful things being created. He taught us, do you remember that, Stephen? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's still on my desk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know what? We were able to accomplish it yeah. even with our limited skills. Right. Wonderful teacher. Great White teacher. Thank and, you. and it's because you do such yeah. great work. So tell us about these paintings. Yeah. yeah. What I brought along with me today is an example of one of my acrylics mm -hmm. and uh, one of my watercolors and one of the oils. So I painted all three of these mediums. And one of the things that uh, I really enjoy doing for all of our guests that come to the show they like to see how the, the work is created. Because oftentimes they'll come to my booth and they'll say, gosh, how do you do that? <laughs> so I started demonstrating a long time ago. So they can see the beginning of the process and they can see it develop. And oftentimes I can start and finish a painting and then they come back and see it and they uh, adopt it, <laughs> and take it home, which is good. But. Uh, most importantly, they can see the process. Yeah. yeah, they really enjoy that. Yeah, it's very cool. So do you have a preference? Is there something that you, or maybe you like doing landscapes in a certain medium, or, or what? what is your preference? Well, you know, I uh, paint a lot of different subjects. And, uh, you know, I do portraits of people, animals. I do florals. I do waterscapes, uh, uh, you know, landscapes. I do a little bit of everything because invariably what happens, people will come in and say, hey, do you have this? <laughs> <laughs> and then I can say, yes, I do. So, you know, it works out real good. And it's good practice going from different subjects to subjects and mediums to mediums. So it all kind of uh, interconnects for me. So yeah. it works out real good. I love that. So Ainsley, Art on the Mall, is this something that uh, kids will have a lot of fun with as their parents are walking?
looking around trying <laughs> to find something uh, to put as their centerpiece or <laughs> kids have something to enjoy as well? Absolutely. Um, so we do have a, a children's area called our Young Artists Area and it's in the middle of Centennial Mall surrounded by all the artists so you can take your child over there you can create some wonderful works of art and take them home with you uh, but it gives them a little idea of you know what they can do as well maybe excite them about the art that they're getting to see around them mm -hmm. but yeah and it's all free <laughs> right. did we as mention well. that part right. where should and you mentioned the shuttles and things yeah. um, what time does everything get started and where should people park to sure. get the shuttles um, so the show starts at 10 a.m. goes to 5 p.m. and we've got uh, lots one north one south, two, ten, and thirteen that are um, paid for, okay. and you can park there for free. Um, and they, we have a plethora of signage that guides them to where they need to park. Okay, and it's Sunday, so yes. m so make some plans and um, take home some beautiful art too. Yes. You know, may, and uh, so many local artists as well to, that you can support. Yeah, and you can talk stuff. to the artists. As yes, well. and, and watch them yes. do it. Yeah, watch them do it. Get to know like the story behind mm -hmm. the. Work. Absolutely, or how they got involved in it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, you for having us. Yeah.